I'm so full right now. I just came back from eating a fuck ton of Korean barbecue. I ate too much. I'm so fucking full right now. I'm just ready to puke. Puke knowledge! Today's lesson is starting items. I feel like there's only four viable starting items you should start off with as Katarina. The first one is boots. Basically you buy boots for the movement speed and the four pots. Boots lets you be more evasive in lane against skill shot champions. For example, Lux, Zareth, and it also gives you four pots, which is the most pots you can get from any starting item. Boots is also good when you max Q because having that movement speed helps you get into range of your Q easier. I would still say for the W max, it's still good to get boots because it still does give you four pots and it gives you movement speed to dodge skill shots, but just expect to be a little bit more squishier. The next item is Dark Seal. Dark Seal is probably the item you want to start off with if you want more damage. Dark Seal is a pretty good starting item because it gives you 15 AP and it also gives you the, the extra healing on your potions, which is something that Katarina needs because Katarina has no sustain for lane. This is generally the offensive starting item compared to all the other starting items because it gives you AP and it gives you sustain. You have the AP to do damage and you would also have the sustain to constantly poke them down and be able to still stay in lane. I would generally build Dark Seal in matchups that I'm comfortable playing. If I'm in a matchup where I know how to play aggressive, then I'd be able to utilize the AP that Dark Seal has to offer. The next item is Doran Shield. Doran Shield is probably the tankiest option in terms of starting items. Doran Shield gives you health, Doran Shield gives you sustain, and it blocks single target damage. So if you're versing champions that have a lot of single target damage, Doran Shield will help mitigate a lot of that. So if you want the tankiness and sustain that Doran Shield gives, and you feel like you need the defensive stats in order to survive laning phase, that's when you buy Doran Shield. Last item is Cloth Armor. You pretty much build Cloth Armor against AD mids. Buying Cloth Armor gives you 4 pots, and it also lets you build into Seeker's Arm Guard and Chain Vest earlier. I still think I feel like I would pick Doran Shield over Cloth in some of the AD matches, but Cloth does have its benefits. Pots heal a lot faster than Doran's regen, and you get 4 of them, and Cloth also builds into items, so whatever works best for you. I'm also going to talk about a few starting items that I don't think are that viable. First is Corrupting Potion. I know that I used to build Corrupting Potion a lot first item, but I realized that it's not that good. It takes its own item slot, so that's a little annoying to deal with. Corrupting Potion also got changed a little bit to where it gives more mana. So that doesn't benefit Cat at all. The only reason why I got it was because the refill potion is just nice to have, and it also gave you the burn. And I think Corrupting Potion worked exceptionally well with Teleport, because you'd be able to back and TP back to lane with full Corrupting Potion stacks and an item. So it gave you a pretty nice advantage against your enemy laner. But honestly, after doing it for a while, it's really not that worth it. Next item is Doran's Ring. Ring was actually not a bad choice back then, before Dark Seal was made. It gave you health, it gave you AP, and it gave you two potions, which was a pretty big deal back then. But now that Dark Seal's out, Dark Seal actually heals more than the amount of HP that Doran Shield gives, so pretty much Dark Seal just outshines Doran's Ring. Last item is Amp Tome. Amp Tome doesn't really have much to offer. It gives you the most AP out of all the items, but it only gives you one potion, and I think sustain in lane is very important with Katarina. One benefit with Amptome is that it does let you build into other items quicker because you're buying a component of like another item. But how are you going to buy those items when you don't even have the right tools or the right stats you need in lane to farm? So basically, just don't buy Amptome. Well that's it for the starting items. I'm going to go eat more because I'm hungry.